Welcome back to the channel guys, it's your favorite boxes ambassador Zuljan here to bring you some more sponsored boxes content. Today we trick or treat baby. We got 10 jack-o-lanterns to open up and see what we get. The items that are coming out of some of these boxes are terrific and even though they are selling pretty low on the market and a lot of people say that's not a good thing, I think it's a great thing because it's a great buying opportunity when you know you want stuff to add to your collection and some of these things are nuts. The rare masks, for instance, for the medium and the heavy units and the epic masks, especially for all of the units are absolutely insane. Also, the pets, a lot of people aren't using them right now due to the fact that there's so many baby dragons on the market and it's probably a little bit more efficient for most people to use those baby dragons, those undead dragons. The torment pet is going to come into a real, real great place in the meta eventually. I have a feeling just because it's versatility and the fact that it can counter the, uh, the re-raise ability from the uh, undead dragons. And the bat, which is not necessarily the most exciting pet for most people in PvP, the last PvE event we had with the with the dragon fests, guys, the bats were the meta. Bats made you sustain like crazy, and PvE is coming. So these inexpensive bat prices. I, I wouldn't wait around too much longer. Matter of fact, I got my eye on a couple of them right now. What we're doing today, though, is we're trying to get some of those items in these boxes. Now, the market has kind of settled between 30 and 40 voxel per, and rares have come back down since the original pricing when I did my last Halloween video. What you'll see here is that a lot of times it pays to be patient. Sometimes you have to really get into it really quickly. But recently an announcement was made, well, at least some discussion was made by some of the team members about changing the event uh, through the middle of it, in the middle of it, just changing the terms of the event and the way things are, uh, are working. And uh, it was decided against it. The consensus of the community as well does not really want that because it really, really is unfair to the people that have already done stuff with the event. And if you change terms in the middle of it, it's, things can go wrong. We kind of saw that um, the, the the trickling effect of what happened with uh, with Dragonfest because of this, and I think as a community, most of us have decided that it's less favorable to do something like that unless there's a complete uh, problem or catastrophe that needs to be avoided by making those changes. But without further ado, let's start opening some boxes. So. I will say that I do have my trusted forwarding service off. I'm going to do a video about this to show you. If you're having a little bit of problems with the marketplace, you'll want to stay tuned for that video. It's a way to kind of get around, but you do have to pay some gas fees for it, and you'll see that. So if you're familiar with the, the reward, uh, I guess you could say the summary uh, or the rewards that you can possibly get for opening these boxes. Uh, you can get 20% of consumable, okay? So you could you have a 20% chance to get a consumable item, which is a potion or one of the new potions that came out with the uh, the, the update that I, I talked about last video. You can ch have a 62.5% chance to get a rare item, okay? 11% chance to get an epic item, including some of those awesome helmets, which that, it's included as rare as well and I gotta tell you if you get one of these rare masks you're in a pretty good place they are very very nice for rares okay legendary 2% really low chance but you would expect that shadow fire which a few have been minted so far and they are incredibly powerful swords and what I'm most excited about is pets PVE is going to be something else. I'm super ready for it, and I'm collecting pets like crazy. So, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and confirm Forge. It's going to cost us 30 voxel to open it. You can still craft these things, by the way. You can craft it by burning two rares and spending 30 voxel in order to do it. And the price of the rares have gone down a little bit, so it's relatively simple to get into it. But you can also buy the boxes from others that are trying to sell them right now. So, it's going to cost me a little bit of matic because I do have my trusted forwarder off. Again, I'll explain that in the next video, but we'll get a little bit of uh, a burn thing here, and you can see that it gives me a, uh, 
a little notification that my transaction went through on Polygon, okay? So if we go to close here, you'll see that we have a notification. The items were successfully placed in the forge, but we did not get the actual forge happening. So if we refresh here, you'll see that we only have nine left meaning that just because it didn't give us an alert doesn't mean it was burned. That's another little trick, okay? So you have to check your items here. Just gonna click on profile, go to the bottom of the list and see the new, the most new minted item and it's demon gloves. It's an epic, which is a very, very low chance. Now, granted, demon gloves aren't the most amazing epic in the world, but the fact that I just got some from a 30 voxel fee is pretty good. I tripled my money there. So if you were to sell these demon gloves right now, you could easily sell them for a little bit less than 100, probably 80 or 90 tokens. And that's pretty darn good. You can also use them on any uh, heavy uh, class that you want that gives dex. If we check the details here, you'll see that it's a dexterity item. It doesn't give any hit points or mana, and that's really the meta right now. So not one of these things that you probably wanna hold on to uh, if you don't need this item specifically, but still in all, it's an epic and we got it from a box. Let's keep going. This time I'm gonna be a little bit more patient with the forge. We'll go ahead and hit confirm. Yeah, 11% chance to get that epic. So we did pretty good here. We basically paid for May, two, maybe three of these boxes if we would have bought them. So not too bad, okay? We did get the transaction confirmation, but we're gonna hold on for a little while until it gives us an alert with the, uh, the forge and we'll go through. So the trusted provider thing, as I was mentioning that I'm gonna go in another video, it costs a little bit of Matic to do this, but it really, really helps to make sure that these transactions go through to where you aren't waiting forever or just to find out that your transaction actually didn't happen. Now, what you'll notice is when you do make a transaction and you know it goes through, even though it doesn't give you the alert like it's not giving me now, if you refresh, you'll see that this amount has changed of your voxel. Your voxel total will go down unless the nft actually mints that means the smart contract completed it will not take your voxel from you so don't worry about it okay so what we're going to do is we're going to go through all of these boxes and we're just going to review what's at the end because the notifications of the forge are coming up a little bit short so i'm just going to rush through these and burn them all and then we'll look to see what our finished product is so the forge seems to be working a little faster here. What I noticed is now that my Matic cost is down, I guess that the prices of gas are a little bit lower now because the network's not as busy and the transactions have been going through pretty easily. Uh, right after I get this confirmation, I usually get the one from the forge, as you can see right there. And you can click on it right there just to find out what you recently got. But again, I just wanted to kind of shortcut it because I didn't want to make you guys wait through uh, every single animation and wait for the delay as well. Listen. On coffee, I have a lot to say always, but I don't have enough to say just to keep you guys uh, but not from not getting bored from me rambling. All right, let's go to the profile and take a look. We used 300 voxel to open up all those. And so far, the only thing that we know that we've got is demon gloves, okay? So I'm gonna go down the page here and we're going to see what we got. We should see demon gloves first as the uh the item that we that we just got and everything else is going to be relatively new okay so there's the demon glove we got a veil of shadows which is another epic uh, ironically that was the second one that we minted in a row man okay so we got a pumpkin pet holy cow that's exactly what i wanted so the first four rolls you guys look at the luck the, the, the first three rolls, I could say, all right? So we got a rare after that, but still, I don't see any consumables. Now, we could have gotten a consumable along the way. We're not really sure yet. And from the looks of it, it we probably did get a couple consumables because I don't think we have much more than four items here uh, left to look at. But, okay, so the last four were rare. So, meaning we got two potions, which don't equate to anything that you can sell or rent 
it, but you can use them as a consumable item in battle so they aren't worthless okay we also got some of the halloween rares which are the ghost head the bat feet the skeleton hands the skeleton body and the skeleton legs now just to note here these will be part of sets that they talked about as future features okay there's been discussions in the discord all the time about things that will come later and one of the things that are talked about a lot is set items now for rares a lot of people don't use rares just because they think they aren't as powerful as epics and legendaries and most of the time that's true but when everything starts up in pve you're going to have to level up in order to use epic items and special items and legendary items and you're have gonna have to start with lower tiered items like rares so it's not a bad idea to hold on to these especially if there's some cool sets to speculate on i'm not telling you what to do with your stuff i'm just telling you that for me i definitely want to keep some sets and some specific rares especially these masks that i didn't get any of uh for you to use as you when you get to those points or whatever so it could save you some money down the road because there will definitely surge in popularity when it's coming time get familiar to get to know what rares are going to be good later what rares are good now and what you might want to consider keeping as you go but i'm so excited about my two halloween items here my pumpkin pet and my veil of shadows so the pumpkin pet as you know already has a debuff ability which is called torment okay so the necromancer as a class and the squire as a class both have abilities that can cast torment okay so if you use a reindeer buff on your voxy that gives you extra movement speed or you use the re-raise ability on your voxy that gives you the ability to resurrect after you die after you take lethal damage the <laughs> this actual item will remove that buff okay it will debuff the opponent so you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with torment and i have a feeling that the abilities that are going to be coming out later it's going to be invaluable to them especially when you're playing pbe and these these crazy enemies are casting doom on you all the time uh um, i mean <laughs> they're casting all sorts of buffs on each other that are going to make it very very hard you're gonna wanna make sure that you're prepared for that. And the pumpkin pet is going to be good. I'm super excited that I got one of these and that I did not have to buy it off the market because the only ones that are listed so far are a little expensive. I still want some bat pets too, but for the most part, guys, I'm really excited about my 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 gets. Uh, I'll go ahead and take a look at the details on the Veil of Shadows. This is the light version of it, and I already have one Veil of Shadows and a Skull Guard, which is the heavy one. I really wish I would have got the medium armor too, because those are really, really good right now with the popularity of monsters, especially for this event. But it gives you 15 health, 15 magic, 12, 12, and 12 of all stats, plus the armor rating typical to light, medium, or heavy, depending on which item you got. So, so, so far, it's really, really good, guys. I'm super happy about this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what your favorite items are from the Halloween update. I'd love to hear from you as always, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ujin signing off, and we'll see you next time.